We can do this. We're strong, we can do this. Like a pavlova. Hi everyone and welcome to On The Menu with me, Caroline. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Caroline. I love making food content and a little bit of fitness content here and there, but I like to intertwine them together as well. So today, what I'm gonna be showing you is a full day of eating on a long run. It's currently half past five in the morning and we're gonna get some food down us before we head off for our run. And we wanna be able to digest the food, hence why we're waking up so early on a Sunday morning to have some breakfast, some pre-run fuel. I always have my L-glutamine, this is by ESN. And I also have this, which is uh, creatine by ESN as well, which I'm basically out of. But if you remember, I also bought a backup creatine in the form of this kind of bag. Now, because I've only got enough for one serving there, I'm just gonna mix everything in this. So I'm gonna take the L-glutamine as well. I really like the new packaging on this. It's kind of like Velcro rather than one of those sealable, it's what they're called, like sealable clasp things. Then what I'm gonna have is some peach and orange, or is it just peach squash? What we're looking for is some carbs. So I'm gonna go with some toast. This is Jason's sourdough seeded protein bread. You get 10 grams of protein per slice. Um, so we're gonna go with that. And then I'm gonna have some butter and some apricot jam. But I'm also gonna have a serving of fruit and fiber with some almond milk. So I don't know if you can see how bright it is in my room, but it's it's proper bright and the sun, I saw it rise up this morning and it's pretty high up in the sky. And so it's gonna be quite a warm, hot run, okay guys? So I'm trying to get up there proper early today. So I've just topped up the um, creatine and stuff with some more water because I want to get this down me before I head out. I totally forgot to say, I've changed the settings on this camera. So hopefully it shouldn't be so bright and the contrast shouldn't be so much and it should capture more colours and not wash me out so much. But that aside, I thought I'd just let you know, I'm going to start meal prepping as well. Start by getting the seasonings ready for the chicken breast. So my mum has washed and prepped this chicken breast. What I'm going to do is start adding the seasonings. So I'm going to go in with some pulver there which is red pepper flakes, some Cajun seasoning, what I think is Cajun seasoning because there's nothing left in the packaging, some mixed herbs, some chicken seasoning. Here I've got a courgette and I'm just gonna grate it for our chicken and turkey kufta or meatballs. I'm probably going to squeeze out the water from this as I don't want it to be watery. I want the meatballs to be moist, hence why I'm adding this in. So I've taken out the water from the courgette just by squeezing it out. I've got my spice mixture here which is pulbaba, cumin, smoked paprika, normal paprika, parsley because I don't have any fresh parsley um, some garlic granules um, 
and something else that I can't remember. So <laughs> we're just gonna add that in. So the seasoning I forgot is some vegetable seasoning, which I'm gonna add in. And then I've got a glove on and I'm just gonna mix together some turkey mince and some chicken mince. So the spices are now evenly distributed. I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge for a couple of hours whilst I head out. Now, I haven't done a proper long run in quite some time. And since I did the half marathon in Rhodes uh, back in April, I have not done more than 12K in a very long time. And so today I'm gonna push myself and see where my legs take me. Now a long run to me is kind of anywhere between or over 12 to 22k. Anywhere between that is a long run for me and onward as well. So anything above 22k as well is a long run for me. I have not yet ever done more than 22k. Today we're going to be heading back out and we're going to do a long run. Now you will see what I eat in a day for a short run so I'll link that up here or down below for you guys if you want to check that one out. I'm going to be trying my best to do a long run and I'm going to take you guys with me. Now I have been switching up my diet a little bit and I feel as though my skin has taken a toll on this. Now I'm trying to increase my protein intake where I can and where I found where I lacked protein most was in my breakfast and um, where I only have fruit and fibre there's no protein in that is there and so I really wanted to incorporate more protein uh, in my breakfast and I did that in the form of egg whites so what I was making was Hulk pancakes which would have seen me meal prep um, in one of my videos um, and I've also been making egg white oats. Now, it was good, it was tasty, it worked out well. However, after eating this kind of like new addition to my diet, it has affected my skin. And I don't know if you can see, but I've got these breakouts around my cheeks, here, around there and it's affected like the sides of my temples as well and normally it's dairy that breaks me out so like milk products and yogurts and cheeses and things like that if I have too much of that my skin will break out um, my stomach doesn't fare well with that anyways that side the egg whites have been causing me a problem me I'm not allergic to eggs personally um, I can eat eggs like in anything and fried, boiled, whatever. I'm okay with eggs, but it's just that the egg whites have, yeah, triggered something in me. Um, and I've done a bit of reading on it and some people say that it can trigger breakouts or acne because your body can't digest it efficiently. Something along those lines. I don't know, but you guys can do the research as well. Um, it's all out there online but it's not like properly proven yet but yeah I just wanted to to let you guys know like what's up and what I'm doing in my diet and all of that so you know what I'm just switching back to just eating fruit and fiber what I'm comfortable with and what I know best and having an extra portion of chicken breast <laughs> in the mornings with my breakfast which is really odd when you're meal prepping and bringing it into the office because everyone's just like are you having chicken in the morning and I'm just like yes I'm having chicken in the morning oh and in saying that also I have cut out coffee for this week so for this whole week I have not had a single ounce of coffee in me it's because I haven't been sleeping well I honestly get so tired towards the afternoon that my body just wants to shut down and I feel so fatigued my eyes start closing and it's not great like I feel like an overwhelming sense of tiredness and so I want to get my sleeping back on track and trying to figure out where coffee fits best in so I've taken it out for this week as my mum suggested to me to not have any coffee and all I've had in the morning is decaf coffee because 
I feel as though it gives me kind of like a placebo effect and I like to have a hot drink in the morning. That was just a little update on my health and my nutrition. Anyway, I'm all prepped now. I'm gonna be adding some water and some energy gels into my vest and I'll show you guys that in a bit. Right, I need to go and get my shorts on and my vest. Yeah, I just need to go and grab my stuff. So I've got my water flask. I've got two energy gels, but never ever mixed gels before. I've only stuck with one brand on one run, but I've tested them out individually. So what we have here is the uh, Science and Sports Isot Isotonic Energy Gel. This is the orange flavor. And then we've got this High Five Energy Gel Berry flavor. Individually, they're fine, but I have not mixed them together. I don't know how many I'll need today, but I'm just going to take two. I've started out too fast. <laughs> ah, I don't know why I chose this route, but I'm pushing myself. Ah! That at a bus stop, just down 6.25k at 5.55 kilometers. No, 5.55 minutes per kilometer. And um, I'm going to have my first gel. I've just stopped because it's easier because this one's really sticky. That's the only problem with this one. It tastes really good though. It tastes like a raspberry yogurt. You know what is carrying me through? Knowing that I get to watch Wimbledon. I get to watch the final of Wimbledon when we get home. I can't wait for that. We're at 8.9 now and I had to stop again. I'm so tired. <sighs> Come on, get a grip. Come on, we're going. And I need a wee. Sometimes you've just got to pick yourself up and dust yourself off. Oh. So my legs were cramping up and then I wanted to stop completely. And then you know what? I got back up and I'm going for it. I got to 10k and I was like, nah, I'm done. But yeah. We're going, okay? We're going. We can do this. We're strong. We can do this. We did it. 12K. Woo! Oh my gosh. We did it. I know I complained a little bit and I feel really bad for doing that, honestly. But um, I feel like I had to really, really dig deep for this run today. And it was all going good, but I started off too fast. Ah! But I'm glad I did it. 12K. We did it guys. It wasn't my best, but it wasn't my worst run. And I'm looking worse for wear right now. I think this is such a good price for 3 dollars You get three of the chutneys. I just wouldn't eat the middle one. So cute. I popped a little really quickly because my mum needed some garlic, so I got her a few bits. On the little plus card, I got one of these snack plastic things for free. So I, I got one of these and then, so I picked out the lentil chips because I really like these. They're almost better than proper. And they're pretty good. And then I got the popped chips. I've never had the popped chips from um, Lidl before. So I got both I got them both in barbecue flavour. Then I also got some meringue nests because I'm gonna make some uh, eaten mess today, which I'm so excited for. It's a final of Wimbledon, so we're gonna celebrate with this. I also bought some tomatoes because I've been craving garlic bread and bruschetta, and so I'm gonna make them together. Right, okay, just got back home, can have a big glass of water. I say big, this is like a quarter of a pint, half pint, half pint. My electrolytes are at work. I've got a Lucozade. I'll have a Lucozade. Yes. Honestly, that was such a tough run. Oh gosh, that's just gone up my nose. <laughs> this is the Lucozade Sport Zero Sugar Raspberry and Passion Fruit. I left my electrolytes at work, so it's not very good but I definitely need them. I'm so sweaty, it was so hot outside. My legs were feeling really heavy. There was a point where they started to cramp up and I was getting worried, because I'd never experienced that before, guys. My legs have never cramped up whilst running before. And so I was really conscious of that, so I did stop for a bit. And I was like, that was when, that was my turning point. I was like, you either stop now or you keep on going. 
and I was like, go for it, just just go for it, you never know. I was inspired because someone started running in front of me and I was like, just go, Caroline, just go. Not every run is gonna be a good run, but I tried to make the best out of the situation and I needed to push away the negative thoughts and just push through. And we made it to 12K. So I'm happy about that. And some people may not count it if you didn't run the whole thing without stopping. Some people do count it. Um, yeah, whatever. Right, I am gonna go and get myself sorted and get out of this. Um, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. I am so hungry though, so we are gonna eat. I am all fresh now. Let's head downstairs and have a bit of food and start meal prepping. I know I started this morning hurriedly, but let's finish off the meal prep for the rest of the week. And this will be for my lunches. I've got an apple with some peanut butter and I've got banana. I'm gonna have this before I start meal prepping. I'm gonna have some lemon cake as well that my mum made. This one. I'm gonna have this one. I thought it was a double piece. <laughs> So I'm just using an ice cream scoop to portion out the uh, meatballs. Here is the chicken from earlier, the chicken breast. I'm gonna give this one a taste. Always taste your food, guys. Oh, it looks like it's quite juicy. Mmm, it's really good. So we are still piping hot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times three is 24. So we've got 24 to last the week. Right, so now I'm gonna prep some dinner for tonight, which is gonna be some bruschetta. That looks absolutely horrendous, doesn't it? But for lunch, I have got a posh dog, which is basically just a sausage that's a bit thicker than a normal hot dog with some grilled onions in a baguette roll. I've also got some iceberg lettuce with some vinaigrette on top and some sweet potato fries as well. Can we just look how long this sweet potato fry is? It is so long. It's longer than the hot dog. That's crazy. And so it is time to watch the Wimbledon final of 2024. And you know what that means? It means it's time to make some eaten mess to commemorate this day. Akraz versus Djokovic. What a match it's going to be. I'm so excited. We are a Wimbledon family through and through. It is my absolute dream to go to Wimbledon one day and take my whole family with me. Um, Honestly, I just, oh, I'm so immersed when we watch Wimbledon and growing up, like watching it, I wasn't that fussed about it, but like 10 years ago, I, that was like the turning point for me and I just got into it so much. I love it. I don't personally play tennis, but I love watching it. Let's go and make some eaten mess. I've got some really, really ripe strawberries. Look how juicy they are. Wow, they're huge. Just take the tops off. I want some of them to be chunky and I want some of them to be like squishy. I'm gonna take some light sweetening syrup and just pour a little bit on. And then I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna mash the strawberries, some of them anyway, so we can get some of the juices. 
it's going to be kind of like a lighter version of eating this we're not using cream in this recipe and i'm going to take another strawberry then what i'm going to be using is this out pro uh greek style yogurt in place of the cream oh very nice it's so thick then i'm just going to get these mixed up a little bit oh strawberries and cream guys basically now we kind of got that all together a meringue nest and just crumble this in these are super soft wow it's like a pavlova gosh i cannot wait for wimbledon i'm so excited right there we go Oh, gorgeous loveliness. A nice take on a British summer classic, Eaton Mess. You can even drizzle some chocolate on top or leave it as is. Ta-da! I'm tempted to just, should I? Should I just, yeah. Mmm. And you know what you could do? You could have added some vanilla extract to this. Mm. This is so good. Might tuck into some ruffles as well, depending on how peckish I am. And just as like a movie type treat. The game is getting so intense between Djokovic and Alcaraz. I think I'm saying Alcaraz wrong. Alcaraz? Um, oh, I, I just can't believe what's happening right now. Anyways, I'm gonna have a satsuma. Totally forgot that I needed to do my potatoes. I'm gonna stick these potatoes in the microwave to slightly cook off and whatnot. I've already seasoned them. I chopped them up into cubes and seasoned them. Now they're gonna go in the microwave. What an absolute win for Carlos Alcaraz. That was an amazing match to witness. It was emotional and tense at times. I thoroughly enjoyed that. My whole family did. We really enjoyed it. It was such a good game to watch. Match over. It is now time to make dinner. And I am going to be making a pasta dish and it's gonna be mackerel spaghetti with some seasonal vegetables. Um, with a side serving of bruschetta. In a pan I've got some butter. I'm going to be adding some onions. Then I've got some garlic and some courgettes. And some tomatoes. I'm going to add some sea salt flakes. Let's check on the potatoes. Ooh what we looking like. Garlic bread, are you done? I think the garlic bread's done as well. Now I'm going in with some tomato puree. And we're gonna cook this off. I saw someone on TikTok having pasta pomodoro. pomodoro. I got heavily inspired by that. To add protein to this, I'm gonna be using some mackerel fillets. Here are the potatoes. Now, they look burn on camera but they're not they're just extra extra crispy all right and then we've got the garlic bread to go with the pasta some parsley i did i've been using basil and some chili flakes also a little bit of that vegetable seasoning a little bit of water. Let's taste this sauce. Oh, I need lemon. Lemon. Quickly grab a squeeze of lemon. And the spaghetti. Here is the finished product. We've got the bruschetta and then we've got the mackerel pasta as well. And then I've also got another L-glutamine and creatine 
in squash to get through as well. I'm gonna tuck in right now, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Bruschetta is nicely seasoned, really garlicky, really nice and fresh. A little bit spicy in the pasta. Oh, it's so good. I'm so happy with this. I have cleared my bowl. That was amazing. That was delicious. So I portioned everything out for my lunch tomorrow. So I've got four of those meatballs, kuftas, and then I've got some plum tomatoes and some potatoes. And then I'm going to top this with iceberg lettuce, but it's not been washed yet. So I'm not going to put it on yet. This is what I'm bringing to work tomorrow. Got my fruit and fiber, got some almond milk, got some tissues and got some snacks. I've never tried the original Kellogg's fruit and fiber. So we're giving it a go. Right, time to end the day off with two Brazil nuts. I'm so thankful for the way my body moves. I'm thankful for everything I ate today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I certainly did. I mean, all the food today was just an absolute blessing. Everything was delicious. The highlight of the day had to be the bruschetta. That was chef's kiss. Very, very delicious because bruschetta, when you buy it out in like restaurants and stuff, it can be really hit or miss. But I would have paid good money for that. It was tasty. Please let me know what you eat on your long run days because I'd love to know. I'd like to see what other people eat as well. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more from me.